Hello, welcome to Inhale. We're going to do some yoga. Stand up. Seven feet apart and hang all the way forward. <laughs> Relax your neck. Relax your mind. Breathe a little bit through the nose, always through the nose. And slowly roll all the way up. Keep the feet wide apart. Turn the left foot all the way out. Bring the arms up. Inhale as you exhale. Extend out and down. Either to the shin or ankle or foot or even the floor if you have that kind of flexibility. Just look up. Kind of roll the right ribs back. Come on up. Other side. Turn the right foot out. Left foot straight this time. Same thing. Reach out. Come down. That's nice. Come on up. Step or jump the feet together. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Bring the hands together in prayer pose. Inhale the arms up. Drop the head back. Stretch up. Exhale. Come all the way forward. Hands are down, head is up, pull the chest away from the legs, jump or step back, top of a push-up position. Just stay there. Yeah. All right, slowly come down, keeping the elbows close to the ribs on the way. Someday we'll agree upon a common definition of slow. But not today, apparently. Inhale and arch up into the upward facing dog. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Because this is the first one, it should hurt a little bit. In your low back, you may feel something. You can drop the head back if you want, along with the shoulders. Down and back with the shoulders. You guys still sleeping, or what's the story? <laughs> From here, push back, downward facing dog. You can walk the feet in a little toward the hands if you think like you need it. Keep the legs straight, arms straight, kind of sink the chest down. <clears throat> Palms are flat, fingers are wide apart. Just breathing through the nose. Okay, it's time to wake you up. Jump the feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, come forward. Hands down, head up, jump back or step back. Come down, 
fast as you can. Arch up, up dog. And push back, down dog. No time to rest. Jump the feet up to the hands again. This time chair pose. Arms up in the air, bend the legs. Keeping the feet and knees together. Some variations, the hands are apart. Some variation, the palms are together with the head back. So either one's okay. Mm -hmm. Bring the hands down to the floor. Straighten the legs. That'll teach you. Lift the head up. Jump back or step back. Come down. And arch up, up dog. And push back, down dog. Right arm up in the air, turning to the side into the one arm incline. For many people, this is just too much on the left arm, so you can bring the left knee down to support the weight. But if you're feeling confident and or crazy, you can raise the right leg up. You can even grab the big toe of the right foot. Straighten the leg up. And come down with a hand, come all the way down to a push up, and do the other side. Arch up, up dog. And push back, down dog. Just for my own amusement, jump the feet up to the hands. Jump them right back. Go on down. It worked. Arch up. <laughs> push back, down dog. Stay here, sinking down the chest. I don't think we need to go anywhere. Let's just stay here for a little bit more. Breathe. All right, jump the feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up. Stretching up. You can always arch back. If you want. Exhale, come all the way forward. Arms up in the air, bend the legs, chair pose. We're going to go for a new record with chair poses today. <laughs> Test the limits of human potential. Okay, bring the hands down, straighten the legs. Lift the head, jump back or step back. Come down quick. Arch up. Push back. Jump the feet up to the hands. And just hang down. Relax. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned to inhale. Stretch up, arch back a little bit. <laughs> Exhale, come all the way forward. Hands are down, head is up, jump backward, step back. Come down. And up. 
And back down, down. Raise the right leg up in the air, sinking the left heel toward the floor. If it doesn't touch, it's all right. But if it does, keep pushing it hard into the floor. You can extend the heel or the toe of the right leg, whatever you think looks cooler. Yoga is all about appearance and approval. <laughs> you think? No. <laughs> all right, swing the foot up. Come into the crescent pose. Straighten the back leg. No, that's L.A. I was thinking of, not yoga. Arms are straight. <laughs> All right, bring the hands down. Step the foot back. Come down. And up. And back. Down, down. Left leg up in the air this time. Swing it up. Press and pose, other side. Try to straighten the right leg. If it's too difficult, you can always bend the right leg a little bit. But if it's no problem, or it's a small problem, try to straighten it. Arms also straight. You can drop the head back and arch back if you think you need more. Bring the hands down. Step the foot back. <laughs> All the way down. Arch up. And push back down. Down. Right leg up in the air. And swing the foot up. Crescent pose. Again. <laughs> Slowly, with extreme control, come out over the right leg and straighten it so both legs are straight. You're coming all the way up into the balance pose. Once you're up, if it's too difficult to keep the arms in front of you, that's okay. You can always bring them back behind. But just go easy. You can always sink the chest lower and raise the leg up higher if you want a little bit more. What's happening over here? All right, bring the hands down, leg up in the air, standing splits. Keep <laughs> the leg straight. From here, keeping the right fingers or fingertips on the floor, raise the left arm straight up in the air. Roll the upper body open, left hip open as much as you can. Come down, feet together, hands down. Roll all the way up, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, come forward. Lift the head, jump back or step back. Top of a push-up. Come all the way down, make it smooth, almost dance-like as you arch up into the up dog, even if it's a strange dance. Push back, down dog. I've never seen you guys so incredibly suppressed before. <laughs> Left leg up in the air. <laughs> Maybe that's
for help. And swing it up. Crescent pose first. Then, nice and slow, lean out, come on up, balance slow. Again, the arms can be in front of you or behind you, whatever you like. to the floor, leg up in the air, standing split. All right, right arm up in the air this time, left fingertips stay on the floor, maybe, hopefully. Again, roll the chest and stomach and ribs and right hip open. Bring it down. Feet together, hands down. Bring the arms up in the air, bend the legs. Chat pause. <laughs> okay, hands down, legs straight. Lift the head, jump back or step back. Stay up in the top of the push-up, don't come down. All right, nice and slow for once. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Aren't you? Up and down. And push back down, down. Jump both feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up. Stretching up. Exhale. Come all the way forward. Step the feet apart about hip distance only and just hang forward or you can grab the big toes with the thumb and middle finger. Pull down a little bit. Or you can stand on your hands like Laura's doing. Good way to keep yourself out of trouble. We're going to do more warm-up when we return, which will be soon, so stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Back. Roll all the way up, stretch up. <laughs> Exhale, come forward. Try to stay with it. <laughs> Hands are down, head is up, jump back or step back. Come down. And up. And back, down, down. Raise the right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up, turn the back foot flat down, interlock the hands behind your back, come down into a lunge, deep as you can go, head down toward the floor. Okay, come down with the hands. Step the foot back. Sink down. And arch up, up dog. And push back. Down dog. Left leg up in the air this time. Stay 
Swing it up. Other side. Turn the right foot flat this time. Hands again. Interlock behind you. Try to bring head to the floor. Don't rest on the front leg. Come to the inside of it. Keep breathing while you're here. Okay, hands down, step the foot back. <laughs> All the way down. Now you have a reason to be quiet. Too tired. Arch up. And push back, down, down. Raise the right leg up in the air again. This could go on forever. It may feel like it. Keep the right leg just where it is. Raise the left hand off the floor. Ideally, well, it doesn't matter. Either in front of you, out to the side, or behind your back. So the right leg is up. The left hand is off the floor. Uh-oh. That changes everything. Don't try this at home. It's not worth it. All right, come down with everything. Not all the way down, just into the down dog. <laughs> you got to talk fast. Left leg up in the air, right hand off the floor. While you sing. Okay, bring it all down. Lightly jump both feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up, stretch up. You can always go back a little bit. Don't pass out though. Exhale, come <laughs> all the way forward. Hands down, head up, jump back or step back. Come down. And up, up dog. And back, down, down. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. Crescent pose. We'll hold this for 150 breaths. Turn the back foot flat down, in this case the left one. Turn to the side, come into the warrior pose. The right leg bent pretty much a right angle. Look out over the right fingertips. It's a warrior pose, so you want to look arrogant and confident. <laughs> right? <laughs> Some of them are dancing warriors. Slide the left hand down the back leg, reach back with the right arm, turning the right palm down, but rolling the right shoulder and ribs open, look up. Keep sliding that hand down and keep bending the right leg if possible. And bring the right hand down to the floor, flat down to the inside or outside of the front foot, whatever you like. The left arm straight up in the air or straight over your head, even better. You have the flexibility to keep rolling the... Left ribs open. Reach underneath the front leg with the right arm. Grab the left hand or wrist behind your back. Continue to roll the left chest open. Okay, bring the hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. 
Come all the way down. And up. And back. Down. They show hunger no more. Neither thirst Reach, reach out. Left leg up in the air. Every tear from the eye. Yes, I can get ready for the revolution. What you say? Swing it up. Crescent pose. Come on, you gotta sing the ooh ooh part. There you go. That's better. Turn the right foot flat down, turn to the side. Other side, warrior. Slide the right hand down the back leg, reach back again as far as you can. And left hand to the floor, right arm straight up in the air or over, whichever one you like better. Keep rolling the upper body open. Look up. Reach underneath with the left arm, grab the right hand or wrist or fingers behind your back if you can. Keep rolling the right shoulder open, look up. Okay, hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. Come down. Arch up. Stay here in the up dog for a second. Chest forward, shoulders down and back. Head back, maybe. And push back. Down, down. Feet up to the hands. <laughs> Pull all the way up. Stretch up. Arch back a little bit. And exhale. Just hang here. Hang forward. Relax. We'll be right back. You stay here. Don't go anywhere ever. You're watching. Inhale. <laughs> and we're back. Bring the soles of the feet together. Actually, never mind that. Find yourself a partner. And then, with your partner, go ahead, just find somebody. With your partner, you bring the soles of the feet together if you're on the bottom. And if you're on the top, you gently, gently push down on their low back and force them down way past their ability to stand it. No, you just make it nice and easy. Don't push it too hard, but the idea is just to give them a little more leverage than they normally get. If you're on the bottom, your job is just to relax and let go. Don't bounce them unless you don't like them for some reason. You want to just make it slow, steady, smooth pressure. And slowly, come on up. You stay here. 
If you're doing it on your own, you can just stay in it. If you have somebody at home to help you out, that's great. Or you can get a 50-pound bag of cement and put it on your back carefully. People are walking funny after that. Like this. That was great. If you want to learn more about yoga and all its intricacies, you can log on Oxygen Online and click on Inhale anytime you wanted, day or night. So again, if you're by yourself, you just stay in the pose and calm down. If you have a partner and you're on top, probably if you massage them, you get one back, but not always. Normally, I suggest leaning into their low back. You can push on their knees or thighs, but just go easy if you're going to do that. Don't put too much weight on it all at once. Come on up. Tell your partner to get lost in a diplomatic fashion. Just wave bye-bye. Go back to your little spot. Turn around and lie down on your back. 50 wheels. <laughs> Slide the feet up. Feet are about hip distance apart and completely flat. Don't let the toes turn out if you can avoid it. <laughs> Push the hips up in the air high as you can. You can grab the outside of the ankles if you want, or you can have the hands flat or interlocked on the floor. Some people like that better. If you really want to make it much easier, you can bring the hands underneath the hips or waist, the supported variation. If you want even more, you can do the wheel. You can turn the hands backwards over the shoulders and go all the way up into the full back bend. Try to straighten the arms if you're doing that. Keep the breath moving. Come down. Pull the knees to the chest. One more time. Bridge your wheel. Hit it with enthusiasm. <laughs> Come on up. I wonder if you know how funny you look upside down. starts to get good around now. <laughs> All right, calm down. Again, pull the knees to the chest. Straighten the legs on the floor. Flip over on your stomach. Don't worry, don't worry. Push back into the child's pose. Sit up. Turn to the side facing that way. Sit between the feet. 
if you can, and lie back. If you can't go all the way back or can't even fit between the feet, that's fine. Just sit on the feet. Sometimes that's enough. Or you can lean back maybe a little bit. If you're all the way back, and this is so easy you hardly feel it because you've been doing ballet for the last 50 years, then squeeze the knees closer together. If this hurts your ankle, sometimes it's just because the floor is hard. If you put a towel or towels underneath your ankles or you're on a soft carpet or a water bed, you'll hardly feel it <laughs> till it blows up. <laughs> if you do the variation that Patrick's doing, you can uh, make your feet about three sizes bigger. If you tuck the toes under like that, it's a little more intense on the knees and also on the feet, but it's just a different variation. Especially if you go all the way back, it's fairly intense. Okay. Come on up. That's the good part. Bring the legs out in front of you. Shift around till you feel like you're comfortable. Inhale the arms up. Exhale and extend out as far as you can, grabbing whatever you possibly can. And then come down. Try to drop the chin toward the chest. If you can extend the heels and push the back of the knees down, that's great. If you can't and the knees buckle a little bit, it's still good. Just stay there. If you can't grab the toes or the feet, it doesn't matter. Grab the shins or you can get a towel. If you have a towel at home, you can just get it like that. Wrap it around the feet and then pull down that way. Or if you want to keep your back flat because you have back problems, you can try to sit very straight and pull like that. Any case, to stay here and breathe. Just allowing your back and shoulders and legs to relax. Don't hold tension here. The idea is to open up the entire back of the body. And this has a kind of a sedative effect doing forward bends, especially long forward bends. And then very slowly, come on up. Turn around on your mat and lie down. Inhale, we'll be back in a moment for a nice deep relaxation. Stay tuned. And welcome back. We're going to do a deep relaxation. Any luck? So allow your body to just melt into the floor. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears so you have a long, relaxed neck. Take a full, deep inhalation through the nose, starting in the lower abdomen. It just rolls like a wave all the way to the top of the lungs. Hold it for a second and just let it fall out. One more time. Deep, full breath. And let it go. Just allow yourself to melt and disappear.
mind becomes quiet, happiness bubbles up. If you look at most of the times in your life, actually all of them, when you've experienced true happiness, if even only for a moment, it's because the mind stops. For example, if you meet a relative or a friend you haven't seen in years, and when you hug them, the mind just stops and so there's happiness. Or if you're surfing and you're in that perfect place on the wave, the mind stops and you're happy. Or in all sorts of various things, depending on what your method is. The mind gets quiet, and when the mind gets quiet, your inherent happiness bubbles up. So it's not those things, it's not surfing, it's not relatives, it's not partners, it's not cars and homes and all that stuff. That isn't what makes you happy. It's when your desire stops, when your desire is either fulfilled or transcended for a moment, then your true nature, which is always already happy, bubbles up. So rather than trying to find it in a million different ways in the world, the yogi suggests you go directly to it, that it's inside you, it's not out there somewhere. So no amount of chasing and running after it in the world will ever amount to any kind of lasting happiness. It just won't. And don't take my word for it. Just test it for yourself. Look in your own experience. If you observe your own life, you'll notice. Happiness comes, happiness goes. But if you want it to remain more constant, more of an underlying, peaceful, constant, then what you need to do is let go of running after it where it isn't, which is outside of yourself. That's what the yogis say. How do they know? Because they've done it. But test it for yourself. But before you test it, we need to roll to one side slowly. So just let yourself do that slowly to one side, unless you've fallen asleep, in which case enjoy your moment. Bring yourself up into a sitting position, eyes remain closed, and just relaxed. And just contemplate the possibility that all the happiness you could ever want is inside you. You not meaning your body. All of creation is also inside you. All bodies are inside you. It's a vast subject. And understanding intellectually is not enough. It has to be experienced. But just to get the possibility allowed can shift your awareness a little bit. So bring the palms together, and then we say, Namaste.